Hi, in this video, let us see how to repeat certain cell values varying number of times. For example, here I have a few names here, Shruti, Swara and Veena and I've mentioned how many times I want them. And below that I have a table that perfectly reproduces it exactly the same number of times I want. So I want Swara three times, have the same here. If we change the number of times, the table automatically expands to include as many times. Let's see how to do this from scratch. So here we have the plain data. Let's proceed. First thing I'm going to do is to calculate the total number of lines I want, which is simply going to be the sum of n times. This can be obtained using the sum function. The next thing I'm going to do is to generate serial numbers 1 to 16 or 1 to the number of lines I want. So sequence of the number of lines gives me the serial number. Now I want the names. 1 to 5 is going to be Shruti. 6 to 12 is Swara and 13 to 16 is Veena. To get this, I need a helper column, which is going to be the running total. Since it's a table, I am using a structural referencing. If you are working with plain range, you can as well use simple relative referencing. A running total is just counting 5, 5 plus 7, 12, 12 plus 4, 16. So we've got this here. Now let's see how do we use the helper column to get the names. I can use xlookup function to get the same. So I'm going to do xlookup for the serial number in the running total column and pull out the name. One is not there in the running total column. So I'm going to get an NA error. But xlookup has better options for it. So if one is not there, you should look for the next higher item, which in this case is 5. To specify that, what we could do is leave the fourth parameter blank here. And in the place of fifth parameter, I'm going to put plus one. Plus one is to do exact match or next larger item. So for one, two, three, four, they are not there. So it will take the next larger item five and look up for Shruti. For six to 11, the exact item is not there. So it'll look for 12 and pull out Swara. Of course, for five and 12, you're going to get the correct num names in any case. Since I'm using dynamic array, instead of copy pasting this formula, I'm just going to add a hash sign to this B11. We've got the names. What do we do next? We need the counter. The counter is going to be one to five for Shruti and one to seven for Swara. For Shruti, if you look at it, the counter and the serial number are pretty much the same. For Swara, the counter is going to be five less than the serial number. Six minus five is going to be one. 12 minus 5 is going to be 7. And that 5 is nothing but the total number or the cumulative total for the previous item. So there are many ways to achieve this. One way to do that is also using XLOOKUP function. So I'm going to put a serial number minus XLOOKUP of these serial numbers, comma, and where to look up for this in the running total column and pull out what? Same running total. A correction here. I'm going to look up for not the serial number, but the previous item. So the previous serial number. So it's going to be XLOOKUP for B11 minus 1. This is what I'm going to do. Press enter. In this case, again, I'm getting an NA error for items which are not there, serial numbers which are not there in the list. What we need to do is, again, I'll leave the fourth parameter blank for now. I'll come back to it a little later. In the match mode, I'm going to say the match mode is exact match or next smaller item. Because here I'm looking for the previous one. So I'm going to look for the next smaller item. And we can see here that the serial numbers or the counters are coming correctly for Swara and Veena. Why aren't we getting it for Shruti? Because let's say 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 is not there. And we neither have any item below 0 here. So that's why I'm getting an NA error. And this is where I'm going to use the fourth parameter. So if the data is not available, then give me zero because for the first item that we know that nothing would be there before this. And therefore you reduce nothing, which is zero. Press enter. We've got it here. So as we can see here, if you change the number of times, the data automatically changes. We could have also done this with simple range. But the problem with range is when you add more data, our data will not automatically change. 
So if I'm going to add something like, let's say, a raga, nothing happens here. My raga is not getting added. If you're working with a table, then that's going to happen. So I change the numbers here. And as I change the numbers, I do see my data automatically changing. Okay. Hope you found the video useful. If you like it, do click the like button and do share the video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.